G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. Today we're going to become a barrel. We're going to go through the life, life as a barrel for a day. So, first split off into petroleum. This is from our refinery block. Uh, second split off, which we've got to rebuff of the belt because we've already stolen a whole belt's worth for petroleum is light oil and the third split off because again we, we we didn't quite enter the belt we did a pretty good job on it is heavy oil now all this belt spaghetti needs to be optimized don't get me wrong there's there's a lot of work to be done here i just haven't done it yet obviously um then we've got heavy oil again light oil again you're not running why are you not running that's never a good sign because uh, there's no petroleum there's no oil rather why is there no oil because it emptied it already yep like i said this thing chews liquids um actually trans full instantly because you know it's had a little bit of time to think about it over there uh uh, let's go to game speed 2 just so I move a little bit faster or let's do that so we empty oil oil is technically balanced um, unfortunately it's balanced in a way where it really forces most of the liquid into the top refinery um, but both unload stations are balanced through the massive use of many, 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 many pumps, um, forcing liquid in all sorts of different directions. So this is the primary, secondary, I don't know what comes for three and four. Um, the idea is these will kick in as required, as, you know, as the first one fills up, the second one will kick in, the third one will kick in if the second one's full, so on and so forth. So again, we've got heavy, we've got light oil, we've got petroleum. These output all the heavies on one oil, uh, on one belt, because honestly, that's all it needed. Uh, the light is ends up being four belts. It's about three and a half belts worth. Um, yeah, those barrels are going through for another trip around the around the merry-go-round. But as you can see, all these tanks are empty. Uh, so all the heavy gets pulled off right here and gets turned into lubricant. These that run at almost a one-to-one -one ratio. So we put in 81 heavy and we get out 106 uh, lubricant. So we actually need a positive increase of barrels. And right here on, you'll see this is express belt. So it makes sure all the heavy comes out. Uh, these are standard yellow belts hidden under here, under all these barrels. Um, we bring it off the bus and then we just slow it down before we side load it to make sure this lot's used first and then this little belt just tops it up. Uh, excess heavy, whatever we can't use, gets turned into light oil. Uh, same story. Um, it's actually a negative here. So we actually have excess uh, barrels that were heavy turned into light because we're doing 190 and 160 out. So it means eventually after like I think it's like 30 barrels or something. Um, we have one spare barrel that this machine can't use. Uh, now, there is, a, there is a chance, and it is a slim chance, but it is a chance, that at some stage, um, these two can back up. So again, we've got one little belt here, which is actually meant to be side-loaded. To make sure that this always has enough barrels to feed out. And this is our one little loop. So, that's better. Technically, these barrels get fed in and fed back out. It, it's, it's not an ideal system, but there was no other way around it. So, then we have light oil to rocket fuel. Uh, so, we've got our, our light oil. We pull it all off. Light oil, pull it all off. Meanwhile, so you can see these guys are forcing the light oil over to the right, over and over and over repeatedly. In fact, that belt does nothing. That belt does nothing. Uh, 
because a lot of these belts do nothing because we've just we've moved all the light oil across. So we make heaps and heaps of solid fuel, which we turn to rocket fuel. If we scroll to the far end of this build, you can see it's already backed up. It's produced, and we have rocket fuel on rocket fuel sitting on the belts. So eventually these tanks will fill up. Mm, you're not getting any. Oh. So this is a balancing thing again. When the system's running at full pelt, we actually have all these four belts are pretty full of light oil. Um, so we've got our four up here from the refineries. Plus we've got our fifth from heavy to light, which I need to actually change you to filter uh, light oil just so it clears that square because this is one of the things I'm determined with this system not to have any squares of excess barrels doing nothing just sitting in the splitter doing nothing uh, yep they'll get picked up um, so we go four belts worth this makes it five, and this is why we do the shuffle across, and also why we've already pulled off what we can right, for this last one, which brings us back down to four belts. Now, if we're running at full capacity, which we're nowhere near it, let's be honest, we're nowhere near it to start with. This is, this is purely running with basically nothing in it at the moment. Um, once this belt fills, uh, once this belt's running at full pace, it will run one, two, three just well three and a little bit spare um so again after that point we we rebuffer the belts well no it'll actually run four and then because this belt's down pretty much dead we can press down to three and then again one two and we can press down so at this point we should be about down to about two belts um as you can see all the returns are now on this side and again same story we just shuffle shuffle the empty barrels across to the right hand side uh, just so we know we've got a full belt for when we need to take some off so this is so this is the excess light oil which we're gonna have to wait a while because all these are gonna fill up first um we're gonna be lucky in this one fill up let some barrels through oh look here's one barrel that's enough to show us so they come in here uh, and again, we'll bring this up. We have 80 in, 70 out. So we actually have a slightly negative amount of barrels um, or uh, too many empty barrels in the system afterwards. So we direct feed across. Um, we have this guy here has an opportunity to grab more belts in case for some reason, this one backs up and this one's empty. And as you can see, it's already pretty full. Um, so there is a chance that that can happen. Uh, we output petroleum, which goes straight over here. Um, this empty barrel belt gets spun over to here, spun over to here, and then, like I said, it's technically a leap. It feeds back onto the belt system. Uh, it's an imperfect system. There's nothing I can do about it. I've tried every different type of combination I could. I have spent... I've spent about 30 hours off screen between the end of 49 and the start of 50 to get this to run. Trying to do oil with barrels on belts when the barrels only move, move 50 liquid is insane. And I am going to be the first one to admit that. But it was a challenge. I accepted the challenge and I beat the challenge, I think. I really honestly think this base will do 3,000 packs per minute. I have a feeling oil is going to need more tweaks. Um, sulfur, I'm not... I'm not 100% happy with. Plastic, I'm less than 100% happy with. Um, but it, it, it's it's 95% of the way there. I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. So, we've got our last light oil takeoff. Which is a little bit silly that I've waited for the last one. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, this one's actually a closed loop. So, we've taken our excess... Uh, our spare barrels, just in case we need them, so things can't back up and output of those. This one is, like I said, it's completely closed loop. So the last of the light oil barrels get to here, and they can't go any further. They've got nowhere else that they need to go. So at this point, they get turned into petroleum. 
petroleum gets turned, uh, its output goes straight into this input. And this one's actually a little bit of a special case. You can see it's got one extra machine. So this bad boy outputs 889 petroleum per second. This bad boy uses 982 per second. With this one running flat out, it produces just, and I'm talking just, it's got a, like a 3% a margin or something. It's very, very, very slim. Um, amount of excess production to keep this running at full pace. Um, it was it was really, really, really tightly margined out. And if all else fails, I can always just add a couple more speed modules at the end of this one to speed this assembler up because we're at 255, whereas all the other ones are at 555. Um, or a crafting speed of 8.1875 compared to a crafting speed of 4.4375. So I can speed this one up. Should I end up with a situation where I'm not having enough petroleum come into sulfuric acid? I highly doubt it will happen, but it's possible. Um, same with all these unbarrelers. They, they have been heavily tested. But should I notice that one of these barrelers is not running fast enough, there are, in most cases, extra room to put down another speed beacon to speed up the actual assembly machine. The stack inserters, eh... You can see uh, it's, it's awfully tight sometimes. Um, there's not always room to add more inserters. Uh, but we will see. And as I said, with, with these ones, yeah, we're, we're direct inserting across. Um, we're taking our empties from here and putting them into here, which we're then going to fill up. Same story. Take our empties, fill them up. They do have an output uh, off to the side in case this one is already full of empties. As you can see, we've got plenty of empties and nothing to fill it with. So... Yeah, you know, they, they, they do have an option to output to the main belt, and this why this one's also got an option to bring it back in from the main belt. Should these silly inserters decide to output everything and leave these guys with nothing, um, there's a lot of a lot of balancing, a lot of tweaking, a lot of pray, pray praying going on with this whole um, contraption. So yeah, last light to petroleum. It can, makes our sulfuric acid, which does mean for some reason if we run out of light oil and we have too much petroleum, there is a chance the system might back up and we'll end up with no acid. It's a chance. It's a slim chance, but there is a chance. Um, again, we've got empty barrels coming out to make sulfuric acid. This still needs an iron input, which is this book. That belt there. Uh, lastly, we have our petroleum coming in. And as you can see, the system is really backed up petroleum already because we're not actually using it uh petroleum in very carefully uh coal in from this side and again we need it i found out i needed a stack inserter and a fast inserter to get coal in fast enough and in most cases i needed two or three stack inserters uh let's go to the bottom because the bottom's the easiest one to show so this guy has three stack inserters outputting, which output onto... Let's just break that belt. Uh, what can I make you output? I'd love to have some plastic right now, but I don't have plastic. Let's do... Steel. It's a pretty close approximation for plastic. Come on, i got to get into the right spot. So steel gets outputted here, because that's where these inserters will output, right there. This inserter outputs over here and feeds into that side of the belt. And these two guys feed into this side of the belt. So, it's a little bit of spaghetti to make sure I get a full belt out. But basically, two um, chem plants producing plastic with the correct amount of inserters coming out, the correct amount of inserters coming in, gives me one full belt of plastic. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10. And the same on the other side. I have 20 belts of plastic coming out for what is 10 belts of plastic coming in. Uh, 10 belts of coal coming in. I tried running in it. It's actually, it's, it's again, the joys of maths. I need 7.75 belts of coal coming in to feed this system. So I tried an 8 belt balancer, fit in, split out to 10 belts. I even tried outputting the priority other way. Uh, doing this. 
and doing that to try and make sure it filled up these. They backed up, therefore all the excess went on to the next one, so on and so forth. Didn't work. Um, and that is because, whether you like it or not, your balances actually introduce a small delay when items are running along the belt. It's, it's only tiny, it's, it's, it's fractional. But it means, you know, a belt has a throughput of 40 items per second. A belt through a splitter has a throughput of, call it 39.9 items per second. So you introduce just a slow, tiny delay. And do I have anywhere? Uh, nope, you're not backed up. You're not backed up. Shit, what's the base doing? Uh, yes, I don't have enough drawer on this side. I have enough drawer on this side either. So these belts are fully backed up, but it's not because I'm up unloading fast enough, it's because I'm not using it fast enough. Um, it really becomes a situation where you need full draw on the belts to see the little the little inconsistencies that we get. Uh, really? Am I out of steel? Oh, thanks for autosave. Yeah, it's looking that way. Yeah, steel is definitely struggling. Uh, steel unload is all the way under the, there. We're just not producing steel nearly fast enough. Yeah, I need to come in out here and stamp down another build. Because one of these iron builds should support five steel builds. Maybe just convert this one over to make steel as well. Hmm. Alright, another problem for another time. So, as I said, um, what it actually means is I'm going to have to feed 10 belts of coal into this system because 8 expanding out to 10 didn't work in any way, shape, or form. So, that's the plan for that one. Alright, now, as I said, this, this, this thing is a bit of a monster. I'm actually surprised. I'm not surprised it worked. It works because I knew in the back of my mind it would work eventually. Uh, um, at the moment, is the system backed up yet? Oh, that's backed up. That's backed up. That's getting backed up. Go away, Vitus. Trains here. Mm, yeah, we have a little bit of an issue. So, when I said the system was balanced, eh, it was maybe lying a little bit. Um, it's priority balanced is probably the best way of putting it. As long as the first refinery is running, everything runs. If the first refinery backs up, which is what's currently happened, every single one of these tanks is full, this gets stuck. Uh, it has no way of, of, of pushing the excess oil into the second, third, and fourth refinery. Um, in theory, the system would never back up because it would be in use. In fact, just hooking anything up to this right now would put the system under load and it would run. Um... It may need more empty barrels added to the system. That's something else I don't know about because it's definitely going to need more barrels. Even though it looks very, very full, um, basically I need half these belts. I need I need these belts 50% populated at all times. Um, I'm also probably going to have to do something about trying to feed it on both sides of, of the bus. Anyway, um, so... That's where we're up to with the oil base. So, what comes next? Now, if I'm really good, I'll spend some time sitting down with, with the editing software and I'll actually do something pretty for this one. Uh, or pretty for, 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 for right now. You should see it on the on the screen. You know, maybe top left, top right. Somewhere. Somewhere on the screen right about now. Um, probably not going to happen, but we will see. Um, great. So, first thing we're going to do is set up a trash train. Uh, barrels of fun is the other the other end. 
Um, okay, so it's just been the Easter weekend. I went away. Um, I did a five hour, six hour drive away um, to go spend part of the weekend away with a partner, blah, 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 blah. That's, that's all the in, in, inconsequential stuff. The important part, which is the part I need to get to right now, is on the way back, about two hours out of town, I passed... Really? My inventory is that full? Um, I passed a coal loader. Um, I live in a fairly industrial town, so, you know, these things are not entirely uncommon to see, but this is the first time I was driving slow enough, paying enough attention, um, been on the road for eight hours, you know, anything's more interesting than the road in front of you, even though that's a really bad thing to say, but let's be honest, um, and I, 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 I was, I was looking out the window, and first off, we passed the coal mining, so, in Australia, whether you like it or not, there's a lot of strip mining, okay, so it was a large strip mine, big holes in the ground, lots of digging, blah, 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 uh, trash. That's the name of that station. I have no idea why I have so much shit in my inventory. Um, probably because of my numerous deaths doing oil. I sort of... Oh, that would help it too. Uh, I sort of landfilled underneath my feet a few times. Uh, or water-filled underneath my feet a few times. That sort of made me drown. And in fact, you can't really drown, you just die. Uh, anyway, so where were we? So I... Um, was looking out the window and saw um, the strip mine first. So after the strip mine, the next thing we passed was the actual um, processing station. Because, I don't know, I assume coal doesn't come out of the ground nice and clean and black. It normally comes out mixed in with other shit. Uh, give me some of them, please, base. Um, so there was the processing plant. After, after, after that, we came to um, the last building, which was the actual coal loading station. So, after looking at those and then sitting on the road for another two, two and a half hours, um, and I have some photos, which, like I said, if all goes well, should be up in the top right-hand corner. If not, maybe in the, down in the description, I'll put the Google Map link, um, so you can go have a look at these you know on the on on google sky view map thing um you know or maybe try and stalk down where i live because you know like i said they're, they're, they're three hours from my house roughly uh okay you need to bring in fuel you need to bring in fuel and it looks like i'm actually short on i have no rocket fuel Because you don't have the tick box that says request from buffer chests. Bloody hell. It's little things. Um, so. And I came to the realization that my whole factorio life, I've been building, you know, my mega bases at least. From the smelter forward. So I build smelters. And then from my smelters, I then build everything else. And I'm like, that, that's the wrong way to do it. Um, after seeing how this, this went to together they're like we found coal here after we found coal and it's only after we found coal did they go okay well we need to go to the closest train station to get rid of this coal and ship it out All right so we've got an a and we've got a b target and then they had to come up with c which was the plant which was right in the middle because we go from you know processing and you can clearly see where processing is Right, or, or where the mining is. You can see where the mining is. And then just down the road is the actual... So within trucking distance for those giant trucks that are big enough that, you know, you can lose your tire and a freaking... Uh, lose your head and a nut. Um, a wheel nut. Wheel nuts are bigger than your head. See, my brain's working. Uh, so let's go to... New oil bill... Inactivity. Trash. Time passed 30 seconds. Let's do that. 
Um, so you can see you, you can see what happened. They've, they've, they've decided this is the place we're going to dig it because that's where the natural resource is. This is the place we're going to process it, which is not that far down the road. And then they have a giant conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt went over the road, under the road, all over the place, followed the road for quite some time to get to the actual train station where you see the coal loaders. And the coal loaders, dead set, if you want to see something interesting on YouTube, go on to Google, uh, go, go on, go on to YouTube and have a search for coal loaders and you will be amazed at what they have. So, they're passives. I want storage. Uh, storage. these barrels where they belong because I want to keep them in the network. Um, so as I say, so they um, they basically went natural resources, closest spot we can process it, closest spot we can ship it out. And it made me realise with my Factorio that I, I've i been just building it where, you know, starting from the smelters and then building it to the other end. Um, which is wrong. It's 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 not how it happens in real life, and there's a reason why it doesn't happen that way in in yeah. There's a reason why it happens that way in real life, and it's because it's more efficient right, and more logical way to do things. So it's going to be the start of 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 this particular mega base. I am going to build it the same way we would in real life. So I've dumped down oil. We know where oil is going to be, and now I'm going to build everything else from oil. So we got lubricant up here, which I could, you know, it's on a belt. I can bring it out this side. I can bring it out this side. Whatever. We got lubricant here, so I'm going to do electric engine somewhere here. Uh, we've got sulfuric acid uh, here, which means we're going to do batteries again somewhere here. All right. Uh, same as we've got plastic, which means I'm going to do red circuits somewhere here. Uh, which also means I'm going to have to do green circuits. I don't know where, but again, it's all it's all going to be relative. We're going to build from the refinery forward towards the rocket and backward towards the smelter at the same time. That's the big part I'm trying to get to. That's the important part you need to take away from this episode. Um, along with, let's automate a trash train. And we do that by going way out of the way. So our bots don't do shit. And we go deconstruct all the crap that's not meant to be here. Uh, yeah, they're just going to end up at home base and get shipped back. And trash train will fill up, drive back to home base, dump everything, rinse and repeat a few hundred times or less and clear out this place. Okay, so I'm going to leave you guys with that thought for this, this episode. As always, thoughts, comments, suggestions... Call me insane for one, building a, 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 a massive oil base out of, well, lots and lots and lots of barrels. Lots and lots and lots of barrels. Um, so yeah, call me insane for that first. S same time, um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about, about building things the same way they happen in real life. With, you know, like I said, we've got rocket fuel here. So we need to build a silo... You know, we need to have early intermediaries here and, and late intermediaries here. Maybe we're just going to wrap the whole lot around... That's that. not a bad idea. Smelting, intermediates, intermediates, red science, green science, blue science. Blue science is not the one that needs... It's purple science. But it does mean we'd have engines about here to feed blue, excess engines to feed purple. Uh, processing units, which come from acid, which is down here, maybe, roughly, I don't know. They don't need a lot of acid, so maybe we just belt the acid up. Um, oh! And then wrap all the way around to do the rocket solo in the back maybe i don't know i don't know but maybe that is the best idea or maybe that's the craziest idea you've ever heard either way tell me your thoughts in the comments 
Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!